dear brothers and sisters welcome to the sunday reach an initiative by the dominican friars in india baptism is a door which gives access to all other sacraments says the catechism of the catholic church today we celebrate the feast of the baptism of our lord and along with lord's feast we also celebrate our own feast as we too were baptized in the catholic faith so wish you all a very happy feast what is the difference between the lord's baptism and our baptism we can figure out mainly five differences between the lord's baptism and our baptism first and foremost in our case when the minister baptized us we were cleansed of our original sin and it was not the priest or the minister who was cleansed but in the case of jesus when the minister that was john the baptist when he baptized jesus it was john the baptist that is the minister himself who was cleansed and not jesus because jesus himself was sinless the second difference through our baptism we were made holy but through lord's baptism the river jordan was made holy the third difference through our baptism we were brought closer to heaven but through lord's baptism the heaven was brought closer to us closer to humanity the fourth difference in our case the water of baptism brought us the sanctifying grace but in the lord's case it was the lord who brought the sanctifying grace to the water of baptism and the fifth and the very important most important difference between the lord's baptism and our baptism is this at the time of the lord's baptism there was a voice coming from heaven this is my beloved son with whom i am well pleased well in our case during our baptism was there any noise of that sort i don't think so because probably we ourselves were making a lot of noise what about that noise a noise from heaven a voice from heaven which said this is my beloved son with whom i am well pleased well i would say heavenly father has reserved this voice for the end of our life because in case of jesus it was jesus complete obedience that won this reward and heavenly father immediately acknowledged him saying this is my beloved son in our case our obedience is it to achieve this reward and so the heavenly father is waiting to tell us at the end of our life this is my beloved son with whom i am well pleased if we want to make worthy of this reward then saint paul in his letter to titus gives us this answer how to attain this reward and we find the same in today's second reading i read it for you saint paul says renounce ungodliness and worldly passions and live a life that is self-controlled upright and godly waiting for our blessed hope the appearing of the glory as we take these words of saint paul to our mind as we recall our own baptism and as we renew our baptismal promises let us ask the lord for this grace that we may live our life which is worthy of our christian calling that we may hear at the end of our life heavenly father telling us those same words you are my beloved son and daughter with whom i am well pleased amen <laughs>